Hello everyone, this is Nick Tyson here. As you guys can tell, I am in the new costume design, little teaser anyway, for the Lester Jenkins costume for the Corn of Horror. This is pretty much going to be his new look, the thicky shirt, the torn up um, Long John shirt, whatever it is, and then the overalls. Based on several requests from a few fans and a few friends of mine, they have been wondering how I pulled off this Too Faced slash burn up scar tissue makeup. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Here's a few ref here's a reference video of when I did that. You'll see me there with the uh, no, that's not my real eye. That is basically me. That's basically a fake eye I have wedged in my real eye right there. So and it's not that painful as it looks. So don't worry about it. Okay, this video of me was taken a few days ago. I was unprepared during that time. I screwed up a little bit during the process of the makeup just because I didn't realize to mix too much of the stuff on there. So you'll see me going back and forth, but I'll be narrating because I didn't like how I... Originally, the video was to turn out was supposed to be taking breaks during me put, doing the process of putting on the makeup. But since I didn't like how that turned out, I'm going to actually narrate the video, so... Alright guys, the materials you'll need to make this makeup effect is... The key mixer right here. Gelatin. And by the way, when you're mixing this stuff up, you are going to need a disposable cup, like one of those styrofoam cups. Just because it'll totally mess up whatever mugs or glasses you use. Liquid latex. Black and red cream makeup, Q-tips, and these cosmetic sponges, or wedges, whatever they're called. Popsicle sticks, the bigger kinds, not these very small, basically popsicle stick ones. You get the bigger ones when you're doing this project. And be sure to wear a chunk shirt or a, a bib of some sort just because it's going to be a very messy process and you don't want it on your good clothes or cosmetically, so. Now the first thing to do, if you are a male and you have facial hair, get a clean shave because if this stuff gets in your facial hair, you will have a hard time getting it out in a very painful process. Now to get started on the makeup process, simply mix one of the gelatin with a small amount of hot water. Two, two tablespoons should be enough for this process. Now, a problem with the batter is that you have a very short time to work with it because it can get dry really quickly. So, if more time is needed, just put it in the microwave for at least 10 seconds and that way it remains in a moisture type of batter. Now, a side note for me guys, if you want to add, make the effect more gruesome and more gory, just get some cotton balls, rip them up in shreds and apply them on the base of the first layer and then Apply another coat after that so you have more of a lumpy area rather than burn marks and holes. So decide where you want your scar to be and take the popsicle stick and smear it across that area. This will give you more detailed and cracks and crevices and have time for that layer to dry. For a more faster process, use a hair dryer or a nearby disc fan like I did. After the gelatin begins to harden up, apply a layer of liquid latex to create a skin layer over it. So in this way, the gelatin doesn't completely harden up on your face and you won't have an awkward and uncomfortable pleasant experience with the makeup. Now, after this is accomplished, then you want to add the colored makeup. Start with the red first as the base color, and after that, apply a small amount of black for detail on the crevices and cracks and make the bird face look more unappealing, and you should have yourself a burnt up scar gory tissue and in the end you should come out with something like this a very disgusting burnt up crispy fried chicken kind of way hopefully my tutorial helped you guys a lot if you have any more questions or it's not working out for you get back to me as soon as you can and i'll try and fill you in on some details all right this is Nick Tyson from my haunted blogs and happy haunting